Alright, what's up guys? My name is Viva Wolf, and today I'm doing a beginner's tutorial uh, because I don't feel like there's a very updated one on YouTube and all of them are pretty old. Uh, so first off, we're just going to go through the GUI. Uh, over here, all the way to the left, we have the reactors. And um, since we're playing on Sandbox, we can see both reactors. Normally, if you're playing in a like standard 4v4 deathmatch, you will only have one of these bars. Um, so this just takes you to your reactor really quickly. So if you're like at the enemy's base, looking at their base, you can just click it real quick to get back. It also shows you your health um, from the explosion, which is 0, all the way up to green on the right, which is 100. Uh, then we have the gun placement selector. So this is just automatic. So uh, right now, since we're on the left side, it places the guns firing towards the right. But we can force them to be placed towards the left or towards the right. Um, but you really have no reason to unless you're like trolling your teammates. So normally you should just leave that on automatic. Uh, let's talk about the menus next. You got materials, devices, technology, and weapons. Uh, materials are obviously just the materials for building. Um, you got the bracing, background bracing, armor, armored door, shield, and the rope. Um, all of them are very useful in different situations, which uh, you really just learn by playing the game and getting the knowledge. Uh, but some quick tips that a lot of beginners tend to do is a lot of people will accidentally build with background bracing in the front, but everything will just pass right through it, and it will provide you absolutely no defense. So you always want to make sure you're building bracing in the front. Um, or armor in the front. Also, there's no reason to ever build armor in the back of your base like this, or for that matter, shields or doors. Uh, there's just no reason for it, and I honestly think a lot of uh, new players just don't really understand the difference between them and will make uh, simple mistakes like that. The rope is generally just used for um, making sure like parts of your base don't fall um, as you're building out, uh, and the shield is used to defend against the lasers. Uh, the door is the only thing, I'll fire this real quick, just to show, that can open. So if you have a gun behind the your main wall of defense, like for example this, uh, you want to place a door so that your gun can still shoot through it. You can have multiple doors stacked on each other. If you want to have a thicker wall of defense, for example we could do that. Moving on to devices, we got the mine and the wind turbine, which are both generators. Uh, you can only place the mines on ground that have the little ore pieces in them. And the wind turbines, you can't put like in the middle of your base. As you can see, it says 0% efficient. You want to place them in places where they're 100% efficient, so either above or below your base. Um, this map is up and down, and I like this map because it shows the two main types of bases, the vanilla base and the hanging base. Um, on the vanilla base, the only real place you have to put them is up here on top of your base. On the hanging base, I've seen people put them like up here on top of their mines. I've seen people, most people will put them down here. I've actually seen people even sell these off and like put them here. But if you're new, you just want to make sure that they are, they say like 100% efficient and you don't place them like behind something where they're only like 30% or even 0% efficient. The next two are the stores, the metal and the, um, the metal store and the energy store or the battery. And then we got the sandbags, which are used for defense, so you want to place these in front of your base, maybe even in front of turbines, because they do not block the efficiency of turbines. And next we got the repair station. <clears throat> Don't use the repair station. Yep, that's all you need to know about that one. Uh, then we got the technology. So the first two are um, light tech, and the last two are heavy tech, and then we got the upgrade center. So consequently, we got the light weapons, which um, most people will include the machine gun and the sniper and the light weapons. And we got the heavy weapons. Um, so these are going to be out somewhere between 1 and 3 minutes. And these are going to be out generally like 5 minutes plus. Unless you can rush really quickly to get one of the techs down. Uh, you have to build one of the light techs before you can build a heavy tech. Um, and then we got the upgrade center which just allows you to upgrade devices and um, light tech or low tech weapons. Alright, that was a lot. Um, I'm going to keep going, but if you're confused, you can either slow down the video or like rewatch. I don't know. It's a lot of information to take in, especially if you've never even seen a screen like this before because you just bought the game.
But next we do have the resources, which this just shows you um, how much resources you have out of your total capacity and then the rate. So we have the metal at top and the energy at bottom. And now we're going to talk about hotkeys. I have changed my hotkeys from the default and I don't really remember what the default hotkeys are. So I'm just going to tell you what I have mine binded to. Um, I'm going to show you at the end how to change the hotkeys because I strongly recommend changing the default hotkeys because I remember they were really bad so I pretty much immediately changed them. So I have Q bound to technology, E bound to weapons, Z bound to materials, and X bound to devices. So in order to scroll through you can either um, click the click the uh, hotkey multiple times. So like for example I can go QQQ in order to get to the upgrade center or you can click Q hold the right mouse button and scroll through like this um generally i just hit the hotkey a bunch of times because it's easier and also it's really hard to stop on the right one when you're scrolling through like this um so then you've seen me move around the two ways you move around are using the uh wasd keys or you can right click not right click excuse me left click and drag um i use both about equally uh they both come in handy and then zooming in and out is scroll wheel but yeah those are the basic hotkeys you need to know um if you want to create a group of weapons so for example let's say i want to group these two weapons you select one weapon by left clicking click control click the other weapon while you're still holding control click one and then we have created a group of weapons that we can fire and then right click to deselect and if you ever want to fire that group again click one and just proceed to fire again so escape will bring up the menu f1 also brings up the menu um f2 will hide the gui f3 will show the chat and console and then f4 through f7 are not really that useful in game f7 um basically just hides and will unhide the reload the reload um and then f8 will bring up the statistics and the players in the game but since we're in a single player we don't we don't get to see the players in the game um so we have how many frames the game has been uh how long the game has lasted in seconds and how many frames you are currently running the game at um so generally in a 1v1 or 2v2 the game would actually either be over or close to being over by now because games generally last between seven and like 15 minutes unless either everyone's really good or everyone isn't um but yeah that's pretty much it for the basics i know i probably missed a bunch of stuff but i think i i think this is a pretty good overview of just what you need to know right when you start the game um i have a lot of other tutorials so if you want to see those i'll create a playlist and I'll link it in the description. And finally, if you want to switch your hotkeys, you just go to options, input, make sure you click all keys. Um, it's probably gonna be really confusing at first. Uh, so if you don't know what it means, just look it up. I don't even know what some of these means. And um, a lot of them are also for the map editor, which I doubt anyone watching this, vid this video is gonna use. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you enjoyed the video, please do me a favor and like and subscribe. And also make sure to check out the other tutorials and the gameplay that I post pretty much daily. Uh, thank you all for watching and have a great day.